Hey everyone, welcome back again for another fruitful tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create walk cycle animation in Adobe Character Animator. It is very easy to do, we will just use a puppet. So I don't want to waste your time, let's jump into the Character Animator and let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Character Animator. This is our welcome screen, so there are some puppets as you see. For character walk cycle, we will use this puppet. This is walk bot. Let's click on it. Excellent. As you see, he is walking right now. As soon as I open this puppet, he is walking. Perfect. When I speak, as you see, when I speak, the mouth shapes are changing. It depends on what I say, as you see. Uh, so let's uh, blinking. When I blink, as you see, he is blinking as well. He is speaking too. Excellent. This is really good character walk cycle animation. So let's see some parameters. Uh, let's come to the right side of this program. Uh, th this is eyes ga eye gaze. So uh, we can change some parameter here. So when we close the camera input, there is no eye blinking here. So make sure it is open. It is there is a red uh, dot sign here. Okay, the most important part is this walk parameter. Let's open it. There is a mode here and there are some properties that we can change. Uh, for instance, let's change the mode as left and right arrow keys. So when I click on it, as you see, he stopped. So if you want to stop a character, you just need to choose left, right arrow keys. So when I press right arrow on the keyboard he is walking you can make him walk to the left region as you see he is going back side okay let's press right arrow as you see he is walking perfect okay there is some style here this is walk uh, for instance let's choose run and let's press arrow key he is running so you can make run cycle animation in just one click as you see that's perfect so there are some parameters here as you see he's like something dancing so there are some various properties for a walk cycle that you can choose head bang let's see <laughs> that's very funny as you see okay so let's choose walk and uh, come here stride length when I made it 200 so as you see his foot is a little bit tall let's say so I choose this one and make 100 this is step speed so let's increase it as 200 press right arrow he is walking more faster than the previous one all right good let's make it 100 uh, there are uh, there are other parameters for instance this is body speed let's increase it 45 as you see he is walking perfect this is very good walk cycle animation let's make it zero and shoulder sway arm swing let's increase the arm swing as 80 let's see as you see his arm is swinging more than previous one for instance let's change it 20 and as you see it is a little bit slow so let's come again make it 30 uh, this is arm angle you can increase the arm angle for instance let's make 45 as you see the arm angle has increased so there are some parameters that you can use you can change uh, according your need so this is very basic properties that we can change. Excellent. Let's make some animation. Come to the at the beginning of timeline. Let's press record and then I will press right arrow key so that I can see he is walking. Yes, he is walking right now. I am speaking and I can blink as you see so this is really nice and easy walk cycle animation inside of character animator okay let's stop 
Perfect. Let's watch it. Yes, it is working right now. I am sipping it and I can blend as you see. So this is really nice and easy books and animation inside your character. Perfect. As you see everyone, we have did really excellent walk cycle animation in Adobe Character Animator. If you create your character, you can make him or her to walk uh, at the street or another region, another place. I will do another video for how you create your character inside of Illustrator or Photoshop so that you can create character animation inside of character animator you can do walk cycle animation as well but after you watch this video i will put another video in the description that you should watch to how you can render your animation inside of character animator make sure you watch this video tutorial as well all right if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask on the comment section below i will answer your questions as soon as possible please do not forget to leave a like button for this video as well okay see you later